What's up everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Black. Last episode we arrived at Mistaltrin City and today we are here to find ourselves in another predicament with... Oh hey, Ribbon is right? Uh, let me see your Pokedex for a moment. What do we have here? So we found 55 Pokemon, eh? Staggering, you've, you've seen the clink. You're becoming quite the trainer. Excuse me, a little excited for Gamai Manners. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little bit interrupted there, but hey, we're back. Okay, excuse me, I was a little excited. I forgot my manners. My name is Juniper, too, Cedric Juniper. Hey, hey, the professor who gave you the Pokedex is my daughter. That girl has told me a lot about you. It really makes my day to see you. In honor of our meeting, I'm going to upgrade your Pokedex. Yay, we got a new upgrade. All right, some Pokemon can change forms even when it's the same individual. If you haven't already seen a form, you can already check it with this whatever you want. I've also added a function to make sure it's searching easier. What do we have here? Professor, who's that trainer? <laughs> oh, I forgot my introduction, Skylar. It's my friend and my daughters. Ruby is traveling around the Univo region to complete the Pokedex. Oh, I see. So that means you'll be challenging the gym. Oh boy, I'm really looking forward to it. That's right, Ruben, you should go challenge the gym. If nothing else, this gym is not is, is really out there. <laughs> I was about to say this is not hard. See you, Skylar. If something comes up again, I'll let you know. Professor, my plane is also a cargo plane. It carries cargo, not people. And you're, so, you're talking as if places like Kanto and Sinnoh right around the corner. Oh, Skylar, if you keep frowning, your face might freeze like that. And that'd be a shame. But people and Pokemon, we all have to help each other out. See you later. Alright, so goodbye, Cedric. Sheesh! It's hard to believe the happy-go-lucky guy like that would contain a world-renowned Pokemon professor. Heads up, Ruben. As a gym leader, I'd be happy to challenge to, for you to challenge a gym, but there's something I need you to take care of first. Just now I was flying a cargo plane. I saw something on top of Celestial Tower. I'm sure that is a sick Pokemon as it is, and I just leave it here, so I'll have to look into it right away. I'm looking for Route 7 Celestial Tower. You could always come along if you want. Alright, that's pretty neat. So let's uh, follow her. Uh, but first, let's actually check out the town here. Let's see, we got Mouse Street City and that lab leaves. Okay. Mouse Street and City. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a uh, legend best from Mouse Street, and I'll tell you something cool. Alright. Cannons. God, this gym is full of cannons. There are a lot of greenhouses around the runway. Freshly picked vegetables can be sent to faraway regions very quickly. Alright, so that's really nice information to know about, but. Now we are going to go to Route 7, we are going to be coming back here later in a bit, and I think it's better we take the easy way, I and mean, there's some Pokeballs there, but I really don't want them. So I'm going to skip you guys, um, I want to go into the house, I'm curious, should I? Yes, we should. Alright, let's go in here and see what's up. Alright, what do you got to say for us? I love the Pokemon moves Mega Drain and Giga Drain, your opponent's HP is reduced, but user's HP increases. Alright. What about you? Kenya, have you caught any Bulldor? If you have, would you trade your Bulldor for my Molga? Uh, no, I don't have a Bulldor. So yeah, if you have a Bulldor and you actually want any Molga, then you can just get that guy's Molga. Um, if you're playing alongside me, but whatever. Anyways, and I hope I didn't fall. Okay. And we're gonna have to get a force battle here. Uh, actually, no, you could go through the tall grass and get away from him. But hey, we're gonna be introduced into a new battle mechanic called Rotational Battles. Now, Rotational Battles are pretty much, uh, Try to read your re outread your opponent pretty much. So yeah, you could switch and stuff. Like as you can notice, uh, there's only one Pokemon active right now. For example, Leopard is the only active Pokemon right now. Or if you wanted to, you can switch your Pokemon to the left, and you could have. Um... See, okay, so she knew I was gonna use something. So what I could have done was actually use uh, something else. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the revenge. Hopefully it does something good. Alright. Mm, let's see, water pool. Okay, I'm gonna go for Fury Cutter. Alright, she's going for that Calm Mine. I don't think a Fury Cutter is a physical attack, because I don't want her to set up. Alright, okay, that's, that's not good. Uh, this is not good, guys. Oh dear. I am letting her set up. Oh, and fake out works in rotational. Oops. Oh my god, I see what she's doing. 
it's it's a one hit KO, no? Okay, it's not. Alright, I was really paying attention. Alright, I'm gonna keep going for the water pulse. I guess not. okay, it'll have just fainted. Rip. Alright. Mm. You know, Ni Nix actually no, never mind, not Nixon. Cheeto, do your thing. Alright, Cheeto. Flame burst, whatever. Ashes. Alright, Leopard is almost dead. Um, I'm gonna go for a bite. In yes, I knew she was gonna do that. I go for the bite, and that thing should die already. GG, no re. You almost got me there, but you did not get me. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for another flame burst. Alright, I sure should get Cheeto not down. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's because it was a crit first time. Alright, Cheeto's going really good. Alright. And we have another Pokemon. I'm just gonna go for the bite. You know, just to keep it from doing something. And. Flame Burst should probably kill this. Yeah. Come on. Nah. Oops. Alright, and so Cheeto's down now. Rip. Alright, Nixon it is. Alright, Nixon, do your thing. Just go for a crunch, pretty much. We have won this battle. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Moxie! Once again, OP. Elmer. Okay, we defeated Elmer. Now, uh... I'm gonna heal up real quick, because we all took a beating in that fight, so... Get my revive, I think. Oh, and we use our last revive. Okay, looks like Cheeto's gonna be fainted for a little bit. Ugh, I gotta. Ah, uh, do I really? Okay, okay, I'm just gonna go heal myself up and buy some more revives, so I'll meet you guys in a bit. Alright, we're here to the actual place where we need to be because I was kind of stupid and I did not know where we were supposed to be, so. Yeah, this is a place. Let's see, it's talking to this guy. This is Celestial Tower, where Pokemon are laid to rest. Alright, seems good. They say when you ring the bell on top of this tower, it pleases the resting spirits. So let's go on top of this. Now, I might actually just cut this out, so I'll be right back. Oh, uh, Zapula is evolving. Pretty awkward, because I tried to speed this up, but we're getting interrupted by an evolution. So, let's get this started. Little Zapula is becoming a bigger Zapula called Galvantula. Nice. All right, back to speeding things up.
All right, guys, we're back. And we get some wild Pokemon in our way. It's so weird because I never bought repels. I went back all the way just to get some repels, and pretty much we did not get any. But let's finally talk to Alessa here or Skyla, whatever her name is. Okay. So what she's got to say. Oh, you came here or whatever. I was right. What I saw, I was. What I saw was a hurting Pokemon. Hurting Pokemon. That's nice. Don't worry though. I, it's all fine now. I give it a max revive, and then it felt better, and blah blah blah. Hee <laughs> hee, don't have a great... Sorry, maybe eyesight. No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can't see them. Well, that's right, since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial's tower bells for soothing spirits of the Pokemon. Also, the character of a person ringing the bell reflected in its sound. It's a good idea. Let me ring the bell. Hopefully, <laughs> we don't get stopped by one. Yes, we'll ring the bell. Let's ring the bell. The sound of the bell reverberates uh, through the area. What a pretty sound. Ruben, you are a kind of strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to introduce myself again. I am Skyla, the leader of Miles Triton's Pokemon Gym. I use flying type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Alright, but we're gonna do that in the next episode. Next time on Pokemon Black, we're going to challenge the Miles Triton Gym, whatever you pronounce it. So I'll see you guys next time. So let me see if I can make a really nice entrance here, uh, or outro. See you guys next time. Peace. Stuff.